I have a second channel, Cube Compium DDX. Hey everybody, so here we got a computer um, I'm going to look at today. This is a system that was given to me last year um, by the family of well, my uh, friends who passed away back in 2013. His family actually lives almost across the street from me, so they're never like my neighbors. And um, this computer, the funny thing about it is, I just don't, I can't, rem I can't picture my picture it in my memory. Um, but it's a, it seems like a really nice system. It's got an all-in-one liquid cooler solution on the uh, CPU. The uh, one that AMD sold for its FX line of CPUs. So I'm not sure. Not sure if this is actually an AMD FX socket AM3 Plus setup or what it is for that matter, but we're about to find out. Why in the world they put these screws on there instead of thumb screws? Maybe it's all they had. So my understanding the hard drives have been pulled out of the machine. It does still happen to have the memory installed. It's got a graphics card in there too. 650 watt power supply. Motherboard is looks to be an ASUS board. Um, let me picture the model here. Ah, hard to see it. Maybe it's under graphics card. It's got 8 gigs of DDR3 memory installed. Again, got this really cool all-in-one liquid cooler. Graphics card is, I'm sure I'm, sorry I'm blocking the view here, I'm just trying to see what's in here. It's an a XFX card, not sure what GPU it has. It looks, it's, it's an AMD Radeon uh, GPU. It looks similar to the uh, XFX card that used to have, have in Midtower Lux years ago. The one that the fan seized on like four months after I had put it in the service. And, uh, we have a whole variety of things in here. Kind of got a mess of cables. Um, interesting, the, uh, the motherboard chipset appears to have an aftermarket cooling solution on it. It's got a, uh, it's got this, uh, heat sink fan assembly, which I'm sure definitely cooled to see the, uh, Northbridge chip a whole lot better than, uh, just the, uh, standalone, uh, passive cooler it had. So this thing had, it's, it's, it's a whole, whole mess of cables in here right now. So what, this is what you get when you use a non-modular power supply. When you have like a 650 watt supply, you have cables everywhere unless you get a modular. Let's just say that. Um, got this neat little SATA adapter for uh, give you give you an easy SATA port on the back. It's got a. Uh, it's got this fan uh, adjustment. Potentiometer on the back, and apparently that's used to interface with. Huh. Something from Rosewell apparently, because it has a uh, it has a three-pan fan connector there, and it's got a motherboard connection here. Huh. Not real sure what's going on here. Like I say, it's always crazy when you're looking at someone else's build. It's a pretty nice case, though. Um, I can't say, though, that things are pretty jam-packed in here with that all-in-one all uh, uh, liquid cooler. So, what we'll do here, 
use. I'm going to try to get things sorted out here a little bit. That way we can try to give this thing a test run to see if it works. Uh, okay, so we got still got our DB burner, say a DB burner up here. So funny this motherboard happens to have a uh, IDE um, port for uh, optical drives. So I'm actually throw in one of my older IDE drives, that way I can free up a SATA drive for a newer system. Who knows? Um, yeah, let's see here. Must have had a whole lot of drives in this thing at one point because we got not so we got one, two, three, four SATA cables in here and one going to the optical drive. So we probably had three hard drives in here at some point. So it looks like everything here is plugged up as far as your front panel connections, your USB and all that good stuff. So since we got RAM installed and we got our graphics card in there, let's see if this thing works. Okay, so I've got uh, everything plugged up. Let's go and power this thing on and give it a, give it a try. Okay, so this is a M4A88T D-V Evo motherboard. Like it's keeping the date and time pretty good. And, uh, let's see what we have here. Oh, so Phenom 2 uh, Quad Core 925 CPU. Now I'm starting, I think I'm starting to remember this build a little bit here. I think Buddy Tim, I think he had purchased a newer uh, cooler. Yes, okay. So now, now that I'm starting to, this system's starting to ring a bell. So um, this this motherboard and CPU hap just happened to be my buddy Tim's previous computer. Um, the thing was, he used to have it in this really neat looking uh, vintage radio uh, themed case. It looked like a vintage radio. It was wood and everything. It was pretty. Um, but for some reason, I think he had transferred these components over to this computer, and uh, you know, it does kind of look like a rat's nest. But let me mention to you that uh, Timmy, he uh, he had severe rheumatoid arthritis and severe osteoarthritis back in his final days, and it was hard for him to do. It, it was hard for him to build computers. He used to do. He used to do it all the time, and I learned a lot from him back in the day. And, uh, so yeah, this is actually his former computer, and I think what it was is he had upgraded to this, put in this uh, liquid cooler and everything, and <laughs> so yeah, now I'm starting to remember this computer a little better. So yeah, Phenom 2 Quad Core 925 CPU, uh, got 8 gigs of memory installed, so it's a socket AM3 system. Yeah, let's see here. He had this thing overclocked, I think. Let me see here. I'm trying to remember what is uh trying to remember what the original specs were on this CPU and stuff. It's got DDR3 uh, 2400 memory in it. So it got a little bit of overclock on the uh, CPU. I know the uh, the stock the stock number here is 200, so you actually had this thing overclocked a little bit. So yeah, yeah, three gigahertz is what you got to run at right now. And just for example, let me need a little refresher here.
2.8 gigahertz, this is the stock clock speed on it, so it got a little bit overclocked there. Okay, yeah, I'm starting to remember to sing a little better now. So, let's go back to the computer. And, uh, so, let's see here. Yeah, this motherboard is actually, let me look at the motherboards on the Plexi. The Cupcake Plexi has an Asus, what is it, M4A88T-M. This is the M4A88T-D-V. So, this is actually a motherboard that's pretty similar to what's on the uh, Cupcake Plexi. Just, just a full-size ATX board. Uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty neat stuff. What it was, I, it's, I think something happened to his other case, and uh, he decided to buy a new case. Like I said, at first I couldn't quite remember the whole story. You know, like I said, when uh, when the uh, the neighbor's son, which was uh, Timmy's nephew, got me his computer and told me it was Timmy's computer, I was like, I don't remember it being Timmy's computer. I didn't actually tell him that, but I was like, thinking to myself, I don't remember this thing. <laughs> and this is why. So, yeah, he, he apparently had put a different, uh, put the hardware in a different case at some point. Probably not too long before he passed. Uh, so, yeah, he definitely, definitely had a lot of hard drives in this thing, because he, uh, he was big in the store, and he was big into watching movies, and he had a whole big collection of movies, and he had the hard drives pretty much filled up. Let's see here. CPU's running kind of up there on temperature, but uh, the uh, liquid core is doing its job. The radiator, the air coming out of the radiator is just a tad bit warm. So that's one thing I sometimes wonder about these uh, these uh, pre-filled coolers. Is uh, especially when they get older like this, you have to wonder the condition of the coolant. I may end up looking up how to possibly flush and refill this thing. Who knows? So one thing I'll probably be doing with it is I'm going to, of course, uh, I'm of course looking to cleaning it up and uh, getting the cables and stuff tidied up and everything. And uh, pretty neat stuff. I hear a fan ramping up inside there. Go to this right here. So apparently he didn't have an overclock profile saved. So yeah guys, again we got a uh, Phenom 2 quad-core 925 CPU with the mild overclock on it. To put in perspective, the QQ Plexi over here has an Athlon 2 dual-core that's a stock 2.9 gigahertz. I got it running at 3.62. So there's a chance we could probably push this thing even harder if we wanted to. And, uh, let's get you a close look at everything before I wrap up this video. Definitely a nice case. Uh, like I say, this thing really just needs to be tidied up real good. And like I say, that liquid cooler is kind of kind of jam packed in there. And for some reason, this thing is really, I mean, really vibrating, like a fan is off balance or something. Not sure what the deal is. It almost seems like it's one of the fans on the uh, liquid cooler. I 
And it seems like this computer did not really get used much before he passed away. Because it's, I mean, there's a little bit, there's a tad bit of surface dust in here, but the thing is, it's pretty dang clean. Really, to be honest, it looks pretty clean. See, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do just yet with this thing. I'm definitely going to tidy it up for sure. Still not sure what graphics card we have there. Yeah, guys. There's no telling how many years it's been since this system had run. But uh, it seems to be working okay. Just gotta. Um, one thing I, I would likely do is I would, um, of course, put a hard drive in it, put an SSD in it. It would definitely do good with the SSD. So anyways, I think that just about wraps up for this video. So that is... So this computer was my buddy Tim's computer. It just took me a bit to, to place it in my memory. Because I always remember it being in this uh, really nice looking uh, vintage radio style chassis. But I think he had moved it out of that at some point, not long before he passed. I think he was probably looking to uh, have something to put all his hard drives in because he had, because this uh, this particular computer case, I think it, maybe it was something to do with it had a limited number of hard drive bays. I don't know for sure. But, uh, so there's a look at that motherboard here, and of course there's a motherboard on the uh, Plexi. You can see. Very similar boards, except this one's a micro ATX, and that one's a full-size board. So anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Well, everybody, that wraps up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to your channel, and be sure to tick that bell so you'll get notified when new videos are posted. Also, don't forget, I have a whole lot of other interesting videos here on the channel to check out. And also, in addition, I have a second channel, Cute Comp MTDX, where I have all sorts of other videos not exactly related to technology. Links to the channels are available at the end of this video. Again, I thank you for your support and thanks for watching this video.